once again, I want to uh, tell everybody, please uh, prepare yourself. Prepare yourself, uh, you know, for some potential prank calls up in here because I can, I can already sense that we're going to get some disgusting, despicable scoundrels, for Christ's sake, all right? Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, take some calls here. Uh, 646-652-4869 is the number to call. We have area code 478. What do you think about uh, magic underpants or... Uh... Ghost, baby, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. What the hell are you doing? Oh, we just, uh, you know, we sitting here, we chilling at church. It's the 50th anniversary of the church's opening, so we have a special Tuesday, Tuesday service, Coach. But you're at the church right now? How the hell? Why are you at church right now? You're you're a disgusting degenerate that, uh, you know, smokes marijuana and, and cheats the government. I mean, what makes you so pious? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here comes the collection plate. Coach, grab that 50. Yeah, yeah, good job. All right, I'm back, Coach. What's going on? Rob from the collection plate? What are you talking about? What you talking about, Ghost? That, that money's there for the needy. You know, with Mother's Day and everything, my EBT is fed down. I, I have no money. I got no food in the fridge. You know, that's what that money's there for, Ghost. It's to help the needy. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, all right, all right. We get it, all right. What, 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 what are you, why are you calling? What's the point here? And why are you calling from church? Oh, I was just watching these niggas. They can sing it. They sing it so well, Ghost. I thought I would spread it to the community. Y'all need Jesus in your life. I'm actually, you know what? I'm about to dip out. I got my 50. You know what I'm saying? I got my 50 bucks. I'm about to walk out the front door. Me and Pookie about to go grab a sack, Ghost. Oh, jeez. Get this sick son of a bitch. Get this blasphemous piece of crap off. Jesus. Get him off. Jesus Christ, did you hear that stupid sorry sack of soulless crap? He's going into a Pentecostal churches and ripping off of the freaking collection plate. I mean, good God. Jesus Christ, do you see what's happening here in America, folks? Do you see what? Give me the mic. Do you see? Did you hear that for yourself, folks? This is the new junkyard America that has been implemented within the past four years, thanks to Barack Obama. Individuals like this that have no shame from collecting the government entitlements, that have no shame from stealing from pious people, that have no shame at all, for Christ's sake, this is the basis of American society. And why it's so hard for you idiots to contemplate this through your thick, Disgusting, stupid, soulless heads. It's, it's beyond me. I mean, I've stopped trying to figure out what's going on in those disgusting, despicable noggins, for Christ's sake. But good God, this is the new junkyard America that we're living in, for Christ's sake. This is the new shitbag America. Good God, that was a disgusting display of just ignorance. Thievery, uh, ghettoism, ungratefulness, moocherism, I mean, Jesus! Get that goddamn thing out of my face! I knew, I knew this, I knew something like this was going to happen, man. I, I, I knew it, I knew it! It's a freaking Taco Tuesday, man. Give me the money. It's a freaking... It's a freaking Taco Tuesday, man. Enough of this. I, I don't want to go through this again, man. This is why I don't come up on this broadcast on a frequent basis, man. I mean, we've got serious issues to be discussing here in America. I mean, we're in a, in a 2012 presidential campaign. Good God, I'm going to take one more caller on this subject, and, and if they act a fool, we're moving on to something else. I'm not going to sit over here and be made a fool out of anymore, man. you understand that? I, I'm not going to be made a fool out of out here. Jesus Christ. Area code 518, you're on the horn. <laughs> Hello, 
Helter Skelter. That's pretty good, man. You know what I mean? It is a Helter Skelter market out here. I hear you. 661, what's up? Surgeradio.org. All right, we got that. DDoS that. Okay, we got it. 732, what's up? Hey, Ghost, I'm voting for Barack Obama. That way I can drink all the Johnny Walker Fifth Harvest I want. Johnny Walker Fifth Harvest, oh yeah. Jesus Christ, you know, every time you call up, it gets, it gets like higher and higher in number, for Christ's sake. I mean, is it the fifth time you filtered that crap through your freaking bladder and then, uh, you sick son of a bitch. Yeah, I mean, you, you, 815, what's up? 815? Yeah. Hey, Ghost. Love the show, man. We're talking I appreciate about the, it. Uh, the uh, president's, right? Yeah, we're talking about the presidential campaign, man. You got any opinions about it? I, uh, excuse my language, I think we're fucked either way, really. There's not much we can do to get ourselves out of this now. What do you mean? Like, out of what? What do you mean? Let me explain. The debt. Are, what, how many? How much are we in debt right now? We're over $15 trillion in debt. How the hell are we going to get out of that? Well, I mean, not under the current climate that both these candidates are preaching. You know, I mean, we definitely need to broaden the tax base while at the same time spawn uh, economic productivity to gain more taxpayers uh, because, uh, you know, we got more people mooching off of the government dole than are actually paying into the tax code, you know? Yeah, you know, people are, uh, you know what disgusts me? They shut down the shuttle program so they so we'd have more money in our government when welfare is probably a few hundred times more expensive than that. Well, you know, I can agree to that, but let's be honest. I mean, NASA hasn't done a goddamn thing for us, all right? NASA has been one of the biggest wastes of money on the face of the planet. I mean, what have they done exactly besides put a, put satellites in space that make Big Brother government monitor us that much better? I mean, that's all NASA has done. Have we colonized the moon? No. And if you want my personal opinion, I don't even think we've gone to the moon, all right? I mean, I'm not trying to sound like some conspiracy theorist here, but I'm not stupid, NASA, all right? I've seen those pictures, all right? All that crap, the moon pictures, it's nothing but Nevada, all right? I've been to Nevada, I've seen it, and that's nothing but Nevada, NASA. And I cannot believe that you pull the wool over the eyes of the American people, but of course the American people are too stupid to realize that, hey, the moon landing, uh, it ain't real. Nothing but Nevada. Jesus Christ, but, I mean, you know, if we really went there, why haven't we colonized that son of a bitch, you know? Why, why haven't we extracted any kind of natural resources out of the moon? Why haven't we uh, used the moon as a launching pad for other space voyages, for Christ's sake? Jesus Christ, and look at all these people like, no, the moon was real ghost. Oh, yeah? Why? Because you saw the pictures of Nevada? Uh, and you don't even you didn't even see the real pictures of the moon landing. You know what you saw? You saw a uh, film of the film of the landing. Jesus Christ. Makes me sick. You know what I mean? I'm glad NASA's gone. I'm glad NASA's being cut. I'm glad it's being cut. You understand? I mean, you know, every time they they interrupt bro- broadcasting, interrupt programming because oh, look um, a Mars probe is about to land on the planet Mars, and we're about to see the first pictures of uh, the, mo- the the Mars, the, whatever, the Mars rover, or whatever the hell it is, and then when we see it, it's nothing but rocks. You know, here we are, we're expecting to see something that's going to enhance human enlightenment. It's nothing but a bunch of freaking rocks, for Christ's sake. It looks like the Mojave Desert or something. I mean, get, get the hell out of here. Do something, NASA. Trillions upon trillions of dollars being wasted on your ass, and you've done nothing. We got area code nine seven three. What's up? Hey, how you doing, Ghost? How you doing, man? I'm doing all right. Um, I'd just like to kind of further your point before about the moon landings. Um, I recently saw a picture of Nevada, and I've been there. Uh, I, I actually haven't been there. I've been right around there though, but I've seen a picture of um 
Nevada, and it looks exactly like the moon. So that leads me to believe that Nevada doesn't exist, you know. Um, I think it's all pictures of the moon up close and shit. Now shut up, you stupid moron, all right? Yeah, I think it's a, you think it's a real big joke, huh? Hey, if we were at the moon, how come we haven't gone back, ass clown, huh? How come not only have we not gone back, but nobody has gone back? You know, the Russians, the Chinese, nobody. Explain that one, jerk. Stupid moron. I know what Nevada looks like, all right? I've been there, for Christ's sake. Those moon landing pictures, nothing but Nevada. Hey, look, I don't want to talk about it. We're not talking about that right now. We're talking about the freaking, you know, this, this $7 billion uh, accounting flaw in California that's causing uh, Jerry Brown, the governor, to not only raise state taxes but to cut government spending, baby. They're going to have to cut government spending, and you know those idiots in Cali are going to be whining like some bedwetting liberals, for Christ's sake. It's not fair. You can't cut our spending. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just sit there and shut your mouth, you stupid bedwetting liberals, all right? You should have been at the helm to see what your bureaucrats are doing. But what I'm saying is, where's the media scrutiny? I mean, we're seeing all these highlights of J.P. Morgan and Jamie Dimon and the $2 billion loss that only affects stockholders. Meanwhile, we've got a $7 billion accounting error in California, and nobody's giving two rat's asses about it. What a bunch of horse crap. Area code 234, what's up? Sweet. What is deal or no deal? Yes. Game show for four. You face off against the mob on this Bob Saget-hosted show. Uh, was, I, 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 I mean, what was that exactly? Their fruit bowls. Uh, five, six, seven. What's up? You're too slow. 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 You're too. Uh, 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 shove it up your ass. I mean, what, what, what was that? What is this supposed to prove, for Christ's sake? All right, we're talking about California. They're about to implement austerity measures upon the government, upon the bureaucracy of the state government of California. And I cannot wait to see all the protests and all the uprising from all these unions and all these people that are going to be affected by these cuts, and not to mention the raising in state taxes, baby. I'm telling you right now, you know who's going to be the new Hollywood? Austin, Texas. <laughs> Woo! Let's see, who else? We've got 214, you're on the horn. How many dead niggas are inside your melting pot of friendship? Hey, how about if I give your number out for being a racist prick? How about that? How about that? Hey, oh, 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 oh. You want to be a racist prick, man? I mean, I, you know, come on. Why don't you stand by your racism, baby? Come on, man. You're going to say uh, racial derogatory statements of that nature. Why don't you, why don't you stand by them? What am I going to call him back, engineer? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Two, one, four. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Yeah, yes, we're just giving you a call back. Uh, you just called the True Capitalist radio broadcast saying some racial slurs, uh, you know, on episode number 226, uh, about, uh, you know, at 135 left in the broadcast, you decided to say the N-word. Whoever this is at this particular address, I mean, hey, if you're going to be uh, saying these types of racial slurs, uh, you should be able to stand by him there, boy. You know what I mean? I mean, you should be able to stand by him. So uh, we're going to go ahead and leave you this message, and, uh, you know, whoever gets it, I mean, there's obviously a racist at your house. We're going to give you a call, one more call back uh, because we want somebody to stand by their racism here since uh, you like to call up and say the N-word. All right, hang him up, engineer. Hang him up! All right, we're going to call him back one more. Right, should we call him back? now? That's that's enough. Let's stop. He's, his mom will get it. His mom will get it. Anyway, we're talking about Jerry Brown and the fact that he's got a, uh, what was it, a $7 trillion accounting error out there in California. 
What do you got to say about it? Area code 708, you're on the horn. Hey, 708, you're on the horn. Hello? Yeah. Hey, uh, Ghost One Talks You for a while, man. Uh, I want to thank you for uh, all the stuff you've done for uh, Ball Talk Radio. Um, I had a question to ask you. What's up? Um, we we got we got these you know we got Barack Obama and all, we had you know Bill Clinton we had uh, Bush and it seems like no matter what it seems like all the same thing every time and I uh, will get the same you know the same reaction yeah, from from whether it's a liberal whether it's a, a, a conservative the same thing the same kind of complaining and I was wondering why is it that a man of such intelligence would do that you you seem to, to complain the same way. Well, I don't understand your question, but the reason that uh, you bureaucrats run amok once they obtain power is because the majority of the people that are supposed to be in charge of this government, because this is a government made for the people and by the people, fall asleep at the wheel and decide to watch American Idol and uh, the Jersey Shore and, uh, you know, inside Jay Wow's pants and whatever the hell else is on TV, as opposed to being politically responsible for those that they elect that are dictating policy to them. All right? I mean, that's basically what it's all about, for Christ's sake. I mean, you know, open your eyes, sir. 204, you're on the horn. If the water wants to take your best shot, feel the pressure, push, and remember it's the only opportunity that you got. And you're going to lose again because it's in order from all you. We own you, and we ain't ever letting go. To teach you your one shot for not getting the cotton ball, your opportunity comes once in a season, and you're going to lose again. Shut up, you Oklahoma Sooner prick. Of course you idiots in Oklahoma would be utilizing Eminem, that cracker-ass, cracker, bitchy, blonde-headed, uh, disgraced, a black-striped piece of garbage. Hey, have y'all heard that racist song that Eminem put out back before he became the big rapper? Talking about black girls and... You know, how they're dirty and stinky and, you know, all that other stuff. And, and yet he still is able to rap on BET without any of these so-called gangster rappers giving him a bitch slap. You see, you know, you hip-hop rappers aren't real. That's when you know they're not real and they're bowing down to Whitey, all right? We got area code 410. You're on the horn. What do you think about the TSA? All right, we got the, obviously you hung up because you're a Helen Keller deaf mute, for Christ's sake. We're talking about the TSA here, for Christ's sake. When I call on your goddamn uh, Skype name or on your damn freaking area code, take your head out of your ass and stop being a Helen Keller deaf mute. Area code 603, what do you think about the TSA? Six oh three, say something, or I'm saying your number over the air. 603-359, are you there? All right, 3720, whoever the hell that is, all right? Uh, 239, what's up? What's up? Yeah. How you doing? I'm all right. Why do you got me on speakerphone? What, what, what are you all, smoking pot? What are you all doing over there? Exactly. No, exactly. Exactly. Dex pops the shit, man. Hey, hey. Pops the shit. Hey, no, no. Hello, hello. Hey, are y'all trying to be funny or something? Uh, how come there's a bunch of dudes over there and no women? Nah, man, you you kept me on hold for 52 minutes. This isn't cool. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna take you off the of speakerphone. Hello. Who well, you? you know what? Goodbye. How about that, there, you fruit bowl? All right, keep waiting. How about three one seven? What's up? Hey, man. How you doing? How's it going? So about, about the TSA thing, are you, are you familiar with Leviathan at all? Yeah, I, I actually read about it. Yeah, I, I look at it as like that. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get your ass felt up, and in return, you don't get blown up. Stupid idiot! I mean, are you hearing this, folks? Uh, so, I mean, do you hear this? And we wonder why totalitarianism is sweeping the land. Five oh one, you're on the horn. Yeah. After that, I'm going to pass out. If that is always the defining fucking, I'm like, oh, my God, I just stepped on a floor full of staples. Yeah. I'm fucking one of the worst things I ever felt. Don't get hurt. 
it will look my feet are curled the fuck up. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? So I think it's your new way to get a tattoo on your foot. I don't, I don't like them on feet. I don't think, to me, I don't want anything on my ankles or my feet. Yeah, they had, I was in the liquor store yesterday, as a matter of fact, and he had Judge Judy on TV. See, we are, we're witnessing people's dumbass lives right now. Are you hearing this? Um, a this is an insight to a loser life. You hear this guy's talking about going to a liquor store and watching Judge Duty on the TV. Listen to this. You can still see this massive fucking tattoo on her neck, and she, her shirt was cut just a little low, and you can see tattoos across the top of her. Shut up, you stupid losers. All right. I bet you idiots are collecting EVT for Christ's sake. We're supposed to be talking about the TSA, Nimrods. 818, what do you think about the TSA? The preamble to the Bill of Rights states that it was passed by this fraction of the House and Senate. What the, what the hell is this Jeopardy crap, for Christ's sake, all right? Why don't, you say, why don't you shove a senile Alex Trebek up your ass, all right? The guy's long in the tooth already, all right? He's giving out the answers to these questions. Have you seen that lately? He's giving out the answers to the questions. Jesus Christ, 405, what's up? It's freaking oh, you man. Screw you, oh, you bastards, all right? It's UT, Longhorns, baby. Longhorns in your face, in your face. Stupid, dumb, oh, you bastards. You, yeah, yeah, you come down here to Austin, Texas and, and claim that, oh, you crap, and see if your ass don't get turned into dog meat, boy. Get your ass kicked in the dog meat. 808, you're on the horn. Why don't you get a better phone there, you swap meat, swapping, shopping piece of garbage? Uh, How about 914, you're on the horn. Hey, ghost. What's up? Want to join me in the bathtub? (laughs) Oh, jeez. Christ, you idiot. Oh, let's try again. That was major fail. Let's try again. Hello, 914. Join me in the bathtub, ghost. Oh, my God. Can we get a major fail on this engineer? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get this in. I get him off, for Christ's sake. I mean, this is just getting pathetic, man. Major freaking fail, man. Good God. Anyway, no one is hurt. You know, uh, you know, un- you know. Unfortunately, Hollandy landed, and you know everything's okay, and he's going to continue his socialist pursuits as uh, the president of France, for Christ's sake. But once again, you know, I just found this like as a funny story. You know, it's a sign from God. And as a matter of fact, I think it's about time for everybody's favorite part of the broadcast, or one of the favorite parts. And I'm talking about true capitalist confessions. Now what I'm going to do now is I am going to take calls right now. I am going to take calls and I would like for you to confess. I would like for you to confess your sins right now on true capitalist confessions. Let's go ahead and take some capitalist confessions, shall we? 517, what do you have to confess, my son? I like it when the TSA officers stick their fingers in my butt. I like it when the TSA officers stick their dicks in my butt. Just in my butt, yeah! And that is your confession that you like TSA to stick foreign objects in your anal passage. Hell yeah, baby! I love penis! Yeah! 
Yeah, you, you definitely sounded, you over-feminized fruit bowl. Once again, this is True Capitalist Confessions. Fruity-ass fruit bowl. 314, what do you have to confess, my son? Its flag consists of two vertical bands in yellow and white. Shut up, you stupid idiot. All right, just sit there and shut your stupid, stinking, smelly, disgusting, salmon smelling hole. All right? You stupid moron. All right, we're having true capitalist confessions here. All right, we need a confession. 585, do you have anything to confess, my son? Besides phone fapping. 567, do you have anything to confess? YouTube's curative powers earned it the nickname Jewish... Jesus Christ. 647, do you have anything to confess, my son? The the hub is going to make uh, a new Care Bears, uh, a, a come, like, freaking catalog fucking bullshit. You can't even spoken, can you, son? Nope. Why Not can't you say. spoken? I don't know. Because you have no father in your influence, do you? Nope. What happened to your father? I went to war, didn't come back. Oh, yeah? So what, you're going to feel sorry for yourself now, sir? Of course. Yeah? So that that's why you're going to be a stumbling, mumbling idiot? I mean, don't you think that your father went out to war to make sure that you could stand tall and have the freedom of speech instead of being a stumbling, mumbling little jerk like you are now? I'm asking you a question. This is a, this is an honest question, sir. Man, this is intense. Uh... Well, no, you called up, you know, pretending to be some, you know, Care Bear Clopper, and I don't think that, uh, you know, since you're sitting over here talking that nonsense, I don't think that your father would appreciate that, given the fact that he sacrificed his life for you, me, and everybody else who's trying to con sustain the continuity of freedom out here, and here you are, you think it's a big fucking joke. So well, what's the deal, man? What's the deal, man? I mean, I'm serious. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I want you to explain to me how this is appropriate, how this is somehow acceptable. I mean, you're sitting over here, and you have your father who sacrificed his life, and you're making a fucking mockery out of his memory by doing this. So what are you going to say for yourself? What should I say? Uh, well, justify what you're doing. I mean, why don't you justify it? Why don't you explain to us your mental capacity, your mental perspective behind it? Well, I'm sure everybody would like to be enlightened on why people do what they do. They do it for the lulls, baby. Oh, yeah, for the lulls, for Christ's sake. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, you think that's funny? You think that what you just did right now, stumbling and mumbling like an impotent jerk... That's that's funny. I mean, do you think that's funny? I'm serious. I mean, you know, you, you have no kind of personality. You can't even speak a pre-thought that's been, something that's been pre-thought in your head. And and you what you're expecting lulls from this? So what, what, that, that, I'm sure you, Daddy would, would love this, wouldn't he? Huh? He went out there, sacrificed his life for our freedom just so you could be an absolute idiot for the lulls. Is this it? I'm asking you a question, young man. I'm not joking. I'm not, I'm not trying. I'm, I'm serious. Is this, what, is this how you're going to serve your father's memory? I guess. Oh, that's great. I, I, what a defeatist attitude, for Christ's sake. Where's your mother? Where's your Where's your mother? I want to talk to her. Put that bitch on the mic. Put that bitch on the phone. I want to talk to her right now. Now put her on the mic. I want to tell her what the hell is she doing raising some son who doesn't even know how to express himself, not even, uh, let alone express himself, fucking do a prank call. Doesn't even have the testicular fortitude to do a prank call, for Christ's sake. I want to talk to your mother, son. Put her up. Put her on right now. Put her on. Put her on. Because I know, I know, I know what she's doing, son. I know she's not there, isn't she? 
She's not there, isn't she, son? Nope. That's right. You want to know where she's at? Uh, I, I, I don't even need to tell some you. Alabama black snake. I'm gonna get a new Yeah, I mean, no, no. She, you know, you're, you're absolutely right. She's out at the bar right now. And what are you doing? You're, you're at home alone in the midst of the peak hours of juvenile delinquency while she's out there looking for Alabama black snake. So, so what? You think it's funny? You think all this is funny? This is, you know, this is a funny existence to you. Six four seven. I'm serious. Is this a funny existence? Just being some insignificant uh, afterbirth uh, of of some sperm shake, shake session. I mean, this is funny to you. You know, being some ign- insignificant life that uh, you know, not even your own parent cares about. Your own parent cares about. I, I bet you money, you know, you have to take care of her, right? I bet you money she goes off on these stupid emotional tirades. I bet you she brings you around the girls. I bet you she does all that, right? And this is why you're so screwed up in the head. I mean, just just, just, just tell me. Just tell me. Well, is it really my fault? I'm not saying it's your fault. But what I'm saying is, sir, is that you're listening to a broadcast in which it's giving you the goddamn knowledge and the tools to move beyond that shit. Don't wallow in your own pity and say, oh, my mom, she fruited me up and my dad is gone. Hey, your dad is gone because he sacrificed his life so he can, con- so the continuity of the American dream, the, the liberty, the life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness concept could continue. And instead, what are you doing? You're feeling sorry for yourself. You're blaming everybody, blaming Mammy, blaming this, blaming that. You have no personality. You're not taking any kind of ambitious initiative to enhance your mental capacity, for Christ's sake. Instead, you sit here, you wait on freaking hold for 50 minutes. For what? To sputter out a sentence fragment about the Care Bears? Well, they're going to make a new show on the Hub. I was just saying, maybe it'll have the same family, so this Barona crap. I mean, give me a break, 647, man. I mean, I'm serious. I mean, can can you take what I'm going to tell you here, and can you take it to heart, please? I'll try my best. All right, look. Stop acting as if all this shit is a joke, all right? Your life is not a joke, all right? The way your mom treats you is not a joke. Your dad dying at war is not a joke, all right? There's nothing lulzy about it. Why don't you pick yourself up? And realize that nobody in this world is going to give a shit about you, 647. And the only reason people are, are even probably paying you attention is because you're probably somebody who's utilizing troublemaking and emotionalism and, and whatever other tactic to get the attention of your mother and others when it's the wrong idea to do. Nut up. Shut up. Get your ass up. Go out. If, if you're not old enough to work, get, make sure you get straight A's. And when you have all those straight A's, you can leave home and make something else of yourself. Get a freaking full scholarship to college. Make sure that you're not paying for that son of a bitch. And get as far away from, as you can from your mother and the girls. Because she is not doing one shred of good for your life. Because let me tell you something. How old are you, sir? How old are you? 17. You're 17 years old, and you're talking as if you're 12. I mean, there's something wrong with that picture, man. I mean, at 17, you're one year away from being a full-fledged man. You're one year away from being drafted into war. You're one year away from being put in prison if you do anything wrong, for Christ's sake. And you're still floating around like you're some mindless moron. I mean, come on, man. I mean, suck it up, for Christ's sake. The world sucks. Life sucks. Everybody sucks. But it doesn't give you an excuse to be some mindless man-child who's going to make every excuse in the book for why I'm no longer, I'm not responsible for why I'm, I'm such a man-child, why I don't know how to spoke it. Come on, 647. Now promise me that you're going to take what I told you here and you're going to start nutting up and you're going to start learning something. I'm actually going to utilize everything he has said. It actually opened a lot of doors for me. Thank you a lot, Ghost. Well, look, look, I'm just telling you how it is, sir. Look, man, you're one year away. One year away from being a an adult. And you can't even talk to me in, in a prank call. You can't even pre-think a prank call. You can't even write one down. You can't even rip one off. 
without stumbling and mumbling. How do you think you're going to get through life, 647? The only way, man. you got to capitalize. How are you going to capitalize if you can't talk to people? I'm probably going to use it in different ways, like studying, using math, anything other than speaking. Well, at least you've got some idea, but man, look. I know that all these bronies and all this little stupid fandom and, hey, look, I'm going to go prank call. <laughs> I know all this is, is fun and games right now, man. But look, you're stumbling and mumbling. You're already behind the game. It's time for you to go out and, and, and take shit serious. Anyway, I'm sorry to scream at you. I'm sorry to you know get personal with you. But, man, look, when I hear that somebody went out to war and died, and and their son is acting a fucking fool. I, I, I just can't sit there and be quiet, man. All right, I mean, you, you, you kidding me? I mean, these guys are going out there sacrificing their lives out here, and I know for a fact that your dad would want you to be the all you can be as a man. As a man. You understand? And a man speaks for itself. Even, even if you don't know how to spoken very well, even if you don't know how to use the big words, a man speaks his mind. A man communicates. A man is not afraid. Do you understand, 647? Yeah. All right, man. My apologies for screaming at you, and thank you very much for listening. All right, man? No, thank you, man. All right. No problem, man. Anyway, I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry we went off keister there, man. I, you know, I didn't mean to get on, you know, that particular caller for such a long period of time. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sick. You know, I, I'm really sick of all this stupid ridiculousness that's happening on a consistent basis on this show. I mean, look, if you're going to prank call this show, at least, at least do something that's going to be, you know, of, of a humorous nature. You know, even if you have to rip it off, you idiots. But, man, if you're going to be a stumbling, mumbling jerk, then what good are you, man? What good are you? Jesus Christ, man. I, I hope that young man really listens to what I said, man. Don't ruin your father's memory, all right? Your father died for our country, and I appreciate his service. And as a matter of fact, I hope that that young man that listened, I hope that he gets some uh, initiative, that he gets some drive and realizes, hey, you know what? My dad didn't die for nothing. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to show what my dad died for. Not to be one of the girls and a brony and a troll and, yeah, the wolves. you got to be a man, son. I know there's not that many of them out here, but it, you have to be a man. Anyway, I'm sorry we went off keister, folks. We were talking a little bit about how, you know, France's new socialist uh, president, uh, Francois Hollandy, his plane was struck by lightning, and I was trying to question whether or not it was a sign. But unfortunately, we got deterred by a, uh, by a call. I'm sorry, once again, I don't want to have that young man, you know, think that... Uh, think that I just got on him just because, you know, I want to abuse his emotional state. What I'm trying to do is motivate these kids, all right? 17 years old, man, one year away from going to jail, all right? Going to jail for, with the criminals, baby. I mean, you need to look at some of these criminals that are in these jails. I mean, they're going to take your little stupid fruity brony ass and ream it out to the point where you can literally shove anal pa or uh, large pieces of furniture up your anal passage. And I'm sure for some of you bronies, you'd love that crap. But if, if for those of you bronies that would love that crap, you know, why don't you go to jail? Why don't you do something to put yourself there and get yourself out of society? Stupid fruity bastards. Anyway, that's what I would like to talk about, all right? Six four six six five two four eight six nine. Are you a console gamer? Are you a PC gamer? The debate continues. Let's take some calls right now. Six four six six five two four eight six nine. It's a debate between console or PC. Seven two four. Are you a console or PC gamer? 
Did you see the latest Nintendo newsletter? Whoa, nice graphic. I'd like to get my hands on that game. You mean you haven't played it yet? We can play it on my Nintendo Entertainment System. It's the Legend of Zelda, and it's really rad. Those creatures from Ganon are pretty bad. You got your architect tags levers, too. But with your help, our hero pulls through. Yeah, go, Link. Yeah, get Zelda. Awesome. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Shut up, for Christ's sake, with these freaking ads, all right? We're talking about gaming, all right? We're talking about you gamers, all right? It's PC or console. What do you think? A 754, PC or console? Sega! Yeah, you look, look, asshole, all right? Stop playing clips, but I agree with you. I like Sega. Are you kidding? I love Sega. Sega! I mean, let me tell you, I, I love Nintendo when it came out in the 80s. I bought every peripheral, every game for the original Nintendo, and then when they pulled out Super Nintendo out of their ass, I was like, are you kidding me? I mean, are you kidding? I mean, you're, we're supposed to appreciate this? After that, I just became a Sega gamer, and uh, then uh, after the Sega Dreamcast came out and it just went kaput, I stopped gaming altogether because I was betrayed! 734, PC or console? Oh, you're off the air. How about 262, uh, PC or console? PC all the way. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Oh, just because there's so many more availabilities with PC, you get almost all of the games that the consoles do, plus more exclusives, such as Diablo 3, World, World of Warcraft, Gary's Mod. Stuff like that. Yeah, uh, what about the debate on console gamers that uh, they don't have to buy any additional hardware? It, it, the, the whole hardware is dedicated to the gaming process as opposed to the PC where some of the uh, system resources are allocated to other uh, processes. Well, to that, sure, it takes a little bit more money to play with the PC, but if you can afford it, there's nothing better than it. I hear you, man. Now, let me tell you, that's what all PC gamers say. You know, it's the infamous debate. We're having it right now. PC versus console gamers. Which one are you? 808, PC or console? Oh, uh, I don't really have an opinion. I like both. You like both? Yeah. So you have uh, PC games and console games? Yeah. What's the difference between the both, do you think? No, I didn't. So, yeah, just shut up, you stupid moron. You're you're probably a console gamer just by sounding so stupid, ignorant, dumbass, eight year old brat. Six oh three PC or, or console? Um, a Helen Keller deaf mute. All right, how about uh, five four one PC or console? <laughs> Shove that EU shit up your ass for Christ's sake! Jesus Christ, we're having a gamer discussion here, all right? I mean, this is serious business. All right, 661, PC or console? Personally, I choose console. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Well, because even though I have PC games and console games, I find console games a little more enjoyable, especially the old classic NES games like Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3. I love those games. Um, and Sega... Um, yeah, I like the first Sonic Sonic games, I like the second Sonic game, and for the Dreamcast, I love Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, so really, and oh, also for PC, it can really lag a lot, like with Call of Duty or something, or World of Warcraft, so really, I'm a console gamer, and I, I would say console all the way. Well, console at 661, pretty very thought out uh, description on why his uh, uh, opinion is valid. I mean, what's going on? I mean, I think that seems like a pretty decent debate for consoles, even though I'm not a console gamer or not a gamer anymore, period. Uh, but um, in my personal opinion, <clears throat> given the fact that consoles will be solely dedicated to the gaming experience, uh, wouldn't it be suitable for gamers, just like this gentleman said, that uh, to prevent lag and to prevent these types of uh, things that could skew the whole game playing process, don't you think that consoles could potentially beat out PC? I like PC. Don't get me wrong. You could soup up your PC. 
Uh, you can uh, take out peripherals. You can add uh, video cards. I mean, you can do things of that nature. But at the same time, those PC processes are being utilized by everything else on your PC. So anyway, uh, the debate continues. 239, PC or console? Um, personally, I, uh, I'm both, actually. Um, I grew up with consoles, but then, you know, growing up uh, when computers came out and they started being popular, I actually... Yeah, well, you know, may maybe you need to, you know, sell one and get a better phone, sir. Uh, how about 724, PC or console? Uh, you're Helen Keller, deaf mute. 207, PC or console? Hey, 207. Oh, is that me? Yeah, yeah, is a uh, PC or console? What do you game on? Man? Oh, my bad. I'm sitting here listening. Um Hey Ghost. Uh uh I'm going to go ahead and say PC gaming because, you know, graphics and, you know, but also you got to take into consideration that there are a lot less hackers on uh console gaming. Well, just from my experiences anyway cuz I have played uh some games on the uh, PC, and I also have my uh, games on my console, and I prefer console because there's a lot less hackers. Um, so well, yeah, you know that's actually a good point, man. A lot less hackers that are going to be cheating, for Christ's sake. I mean, is that factual? You know, console gaming, uh, you know, eliminates the hacker factor and actually uh, emphasizes gameplay. Good point. Four, four, three, console or PC? Hey guys, I particularly like first consoles. Both consoles? Well, well, like um, Xbox and PC. Both. All right, and, and, and why is it that you like both of them? What's the nuances between them both that keeps you loyal to both? Well, see, I just think most of the different games are, like, on PC you can get Minecraft, but on Xbox you can get different games than PC. Well, that's a good point. How about uh, 973? What's up, PC or console? Hey, Ghost. Um... I'm I'm really into uh, I'm digging the consoles because uh, well the, the, I just bought a game recently that I have on both um, platforms both on PC and on uh, Xbox and then that game is uh, Brony Capitalist Massacre Five along with uh, Ghost of Dad was Lazy. Yeah, yeah, real funny, you stupid fruit bowl. I hope you get cancer of the freaking anus. All right, last call seven one three. What do you think, PC or console? Right, playing with your pecker shaft. 208, PC or console? Hey, 208. Now, oh, you stupid, fruity ass. 571, PC or console? Hello, I'm Jones, and the inventor of D pants. D pants are protective pants you wear under your trousers to capture and contain your uncontrollable diarrhea. Just squirt away right into the plastic. The diarrhea almost never runs away through the tight elastic around the ankles. Get this, get this crap off, for Christ's sake. All right, that's enough of the gamer talk, all right? Last but not least, I'd like to talk a little bit about the bronies out here. I mean, let me tell you something, man. I I've had about enough of you bronies, you understand that? Especially you sick-ass perverts that I know for a fact are in your 20s or 30s and are trying to act like teenagers, all right? I'm putting every one of you assholes that are pretending to be teenagers, I'm putting you all on notice, all right? Uh, you know, Penix 2.0 is going to be implemented, and we are going to expose all these assholes who are coming at the capitalist army and at the same time are all pieces of pedophile crap utilizing this whole brony community to exercise their damn stupid freaking impulses and pedophilia. Now, once again, uh, this is not going out to the whole brony community because I do recognize there are some brony fans and there are bronies that are genuinely kids. You know, these are your bronies that are high schoolers or middle schoolers. And, you know, hey, rightfully so. You know, you're little kids, you're innocent, whatever, all right? You want to be a, you want to be involved with all that My Little Pony crap? I mean, you know, if your parents are okay with it and they're supporting it, well, whatever, all right? What I'm starting to have a problem with 
are these disgusting, despicable assholes that are out here and are 20 or 30 years old, and are, these are people that are actually pretending, pretending to be 16, 15. They're putting it on their Twitter profiles. They're putting it on their freaking Facebook accounts. When we know for a fact, all right, through Penix 2.0, we know for a fact that there are a lot of bronies out here that aren't teenagers, that are sick-ass perverts trying to purposely act high pitch, that are purposely trying to act like a bunch of stupid little kids when in actuality they're 20s and 30s. Now, the reason that I'm concerned about this is because, uh, to be honest with you, I know I have a lot of young kid brony fans, all right? I got a lot of young kid brony fans. I mean, a lot. Uh, the majority of the bronies are a bunch of young kids. And I care about these young kids, you know that? Eh, so what? They're a little fruity, you know, they're a little over-feminine, you know. But, but hey, they're, they're kids. You know, they're kids. You know, and they should not be intermingling with these people that are in their 20s and 30s that have ulterior motives other than the winter wrap-up, winter wrap-up. Do you understand? And all I'm saying is, is that there's something wrong. Now, I'm not saying if you're a brony and you're admitting, hey, I'm 20-something, I'm 30-something, and you're admitting it, you're putting it out there, and you're not clopping, and you're not sexualizing this whole crap, well, that's another story. But I'm telling you right now, all of you assholes that are pretending to be teenagers and that are actually grown men that are bronies, let me tell you something right now. Phoenix 2.0 is all I got to say, baby. All right? That's all I got to say. And uh, all of you dumbass pedophile clopper assholes have been warned. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and go to everybody's favorite part of the broadcast. And I'm talking about Radio Griffey. <laughs> Woo! That's right, this is a Taco Tuesday radio graffiti up in the place. And all you've got to do to become a spectator, to become a part of the spectacle, is give me a call at 646-652-4869 is the number to call. And when I call on your Skype name or on your area code, you will have exactly three to four seconds to say whatever it is that's on your mind. All right, whatever it is. And, of course, when I call on your Skype name or on your, or on your area code, and you just sit there like a Helen Keller deaf mute, for Christ's sake. I will be tempted to give out your goddamn name and number, all right? That's all there is to it, all right? So one more time, uh, I'm gonna, I want to give a, a shout-out to the Capitalist Army, the Capitalist Army Intelligence Division, and all the true capitalists, the tens of thousands of capitalists who listen to me throughout the world. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. As a matter of fact, I'm already done with this beer. I need to get another one here before we start radio graffiti. Ah. Yeah, I need another beer before we start radio graffiti, for Christ's sake. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. Taco. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Woo! All right. Here we go. We're, we're, we're in the house now. We got another beer here. Let's go ahead and start Radio Graffiti, and let's take it from the top right now. Let's see. Who do we got here? We got Texas Troll, Radio Graffiti. Ghost is a Jewish ham bone butt plug up the asshole-loving racist. 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 His wife is a dirty dish rag whore, and his son likes my little pony. 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 Sheriff Max a retard. So vote for Lamar Smith. And while you're at it, vote for... Uh, just shove it up your ass, you stupid scumbag. All right, you can talk about me. You can talk about me all you want to, but don't sit over there and promote Lamar Smith. You ungrateful, sofa-supporting, internet regulation-supporting piece of crap. I hope somebody doxes your ass for being promoting internet regulation, you piece of crap. Texas troll, you stupid moron. 518 Radio Graffiti. <laughs> Yeah, good 
guitarifying that Alexa song. Yeah, real funny, real swift, real cool. <laughs> Two, three, four, Radio Graffiti. Yeah, you're taking too long. 404, Radio Graffiti. This man unveils his first car. You know, there's nothing funny about the Alex Trebek crap, really. It's stupid. 516, Radio Graffiti. Hello, Ghost. I just wanted to inform you the Mexican showers when somebody takes an explosive diarrhea shit all over another girl's mouth. This act was very prominent in the German pornography called Church of Fudge, which pretty much, which pretty much made... Uh, gee, I mean, who cares? Why do we need to know that, you sick prick? Uh, you're probably a part of that er, you know, early 90s goatsy movement, aren't you, you fruity-ass fruit? 559 Radio Graffiti. Why does the engineer always sound drunk? Hey, the engineer's not drunk. The engineer doesn't drink, for Christ's sake. He's doing his job. As a matter of fact, I'm proud of you today, engineer. You're doing your job. I mean, the, the last Friday, for Christ's sake, you were acting like an asshole. I really appreciate you today there, engineer. Good job. Good job, engineer. I'm proud of you. 405, where are you graffiti? Yeah, get a better phone, asshole. 936, Radio Graffiti. Yo, guys, can I give a shout-out? Go ahead. Yeah, I'd like to give a shout-out to my number one dog in the Capital Wasteland, Free Dog from Galaxy News Radio. Bow, wow, wow. Uh, shut up. All right, you stupid moron. 313, Radio Graffiti. Yes, I'd just like to tell you that the Church of My Little Pony has gone international. We have priests in the U.K., Russia, Australia, and all across the U.S. Shut up, you stupid brony. And you better not you better not hope that you're not on our radar as being an over-20-something little fruit bowl brony trying to, you know, exercise your pedophilic ways, you fruit. 971 Radio Graffiti. Here they come, slipping and sliding down the street. Oh, nice. Lots and lots of penguins. The truth is, the penguin gets the speed of a rumber. And how do they special keep it off? So get two penguins that goes for the price of one. First, you get big penguins. Little penguins. Sure, tall. Baby, do not have a penguin. Even penguins fly into the air. Shut up with these ads already, man. Stop getting free airtime on my show. 617, Radio Graffiti. That's stupid, you idiot. How about 847 Radio Graffiti? Ghost, I think I hear an ethnic twang in your voice. It's time to play Guess the Minority! Are you kidding me, you stupid idiot? Are we, you're, you're taking my gag, for Christ's sake? That wasn't even funny. 574 Radio Graffiti. <laughs>
Mechasaurus who's having freaking sex with cheeseburgers. I mean, good God! <laughs>
old Taco Tuesday. How about a little bit of a Taco Tuesday music, engineer? How about that? How about a little bit of a Taco Tuesday music for right now? You know what I mean? All right, let's put that. Let's put a little bit of Taco Tuesday music. How about that one by Navy San Husky? How about the one by Navy San Husky? Uh, the Taco Taco Tuesday. <laughs> you got that? Well, put it on, baby, for Taco Tuesday. Put it on. I'm not a freaking hand bone. All right, let's just put it that way, Navy Sand Husky. Oh. It's Taco Tuesday, baby. Who's hype? Who's hype? I actually have Paco on the line. I wanted you and him to talk about Come on, Taco Tuesday, get down with me, baby. Get up off your desk and do it. Show, but I think that they kind of do. I mean, because you are a brony. Kinda, 
<laughs> Not really, but it kind of. Yeah. You stupid assholes, all right? Enough of that crap, all right? You bronies. I'm never, ever, ever going to be a brony. Son of a bitch. All right, enough of it. Enough. All right, uh, 580 Radio Graffiti. I'm officially endorsing. Oh, you. God damn it, you oh you pieces of crap! Who <laughs> owe you? Screw you damn Oklahoma Sooners for Christ's sake, alright? And screw your coach Bob Stoops, alright? This is Longhorns, baby! This is Longhorns! Mac Brown, baby! Don't you ever forget it! Don't you scumbags ever forget it, for Christ's sake, baby. Longhorns right in your filthy, fat, disgusting, oily faces. 204 Radio Graffiti. It's great! Fight your ABC! Great! Fight your ABC! It's great! Fight your ABC! Great! Fight your ABC! Bitch, just shove your EBT song up your ass. You disgusting, filthy waste of human life. How about Jimmy Kudos, Radio Graffiti? That's right, do we have another offer for you today? That's right, you can now own your very own ghost action figure. The ghost action figure comes with a ghost tossle beer can, so your kids can now simulate their own cans that way. Goddamn son of a bitch! You big fucking troll! I'm a brony, goddammit! I'm a raining drunk alcoholic brony! <laughs> Did they grow up so fast, do they not? And if you call 646 in the next five minutes, we'll throw in Ghost's favorite Asperger and friend, Kurt Raskin. The Raskin action figure even comes with its own show accurate sound. No, 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 no. Uh oh, watch out, engineer. I think he's after your job. Hey, that's enough. That's enough. Don't make fun of Karaskin. That's enough, you piece of crap. Shove it up your ass with that stupid, dumb, fake-ass ad, you stupid fruit bowl. You leave Karaskin alone. You piece of crap. We don't want actual radio graffiti. These beggars sure are boring. If only there was a cooler place to eat. Maybe I can help. Karaskin! That's right. Karaskin here, founder of Karaskin's Burgers. Far out. Stop in for our world's famous Coraz Burger or our Lou Ferrango Burger. Say, guys, how is it? Totally tubular. Great. All right. Hey, you guys want me to stick around for a bit? Um, no, that's okay. <laughs> what a bunch of rascals. So, stop by Coraskin's Burger, right by Celtic's Pizza Shop. See you there. God damn all you troll damn cyber vermin! Leave Karaskin alone, you asshole! I told all you goddamn cyber vermin to leave Karaskin alone! I told all of you to leave Karaskin alone, and I mean it! Oh, I mean it! You better leave Karaskin alone, and I mean it! You better leave Karaskin alone! You goddamn piece of crap! Goddamn Ollie, give me the mind, give me the freaking mind! I'm warning you, I'm warning all of you, leave Karaskin alone! God damn it. One more. That's it. Oh, this is fresh. This should be rich. Could do radio goddamn graffiti. I mean, what's next? The Butt Street Boys? Yes! I'm not you. I am a goddamn brony. I'm not you. Fluttershy, this best pony. I'm not you. God damn it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Crap. I'm done. I'm done with it, man. 
You people have ruined my Taco Tuesday. You people have ruined it. I can't believe you did that to Karaskin. You understand? I can't believe that you people... I mean, where is your song? God damn it. I, I, I can't believe you. I, I, I just... I, I can't believe you for Christ's sake. I, I'm done. Get me out. Uh, you know what? Screw all you people. You people will be lucky if I come back again, for Christ's sake. After you disrespected Karaskin, after you disrespect me, after you besmirch my broadcast, by God, you'd be lucky if I ever come back here and do another goddamn broadcast. You son of a bitch. I'm done. Get me out of here, engineer. I'm not going to give these idiots the pleasure of listening to my broadcast, my for Christ's sake. All right? I mean, every time that I broadcast on the Internet... It's a privilege to these goddamn cyber vermin. It's a privilege. God damn it. Give me that eye. Give me that eye. I'm done with this crap. I'm not going to forgive you assholes for this crap. Do you understand that? I'm not going to forgive you for what the hell you've done. You stupid, soulless pieces of crap. And I know for a fact that the, all you people that are making fun of Karaskin are afflicted with the same goddamn ailments he is. The only difference is, is that you're too chicken crap to get on the Internet and actually speak your mind like he does, you stupid, ungrateful, aspie idiots. You stupid sons of bitches. You idiots will be lucky. You'll be lucky if I come back after this crap. I can't believe that. I can't believe you did this to Karaskin. I can't believe this crap! And I know that all of you idiots that are making fun of Karaspin are a bunch of goddamn aspie autistic pieces of man children brony embracing pieces of crap! I know it. I know for a fact. I can hear it in your voice, for Christ's sake. You sound like a retarded Elmer Fudd, half of you people. And you have the audacity to sit over here and make fun of Karaskin? How dare you idiots? How dare all of you morons? God damn it, I'm out of here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna broadcast to you morons anymore for Christ's sake. Alright? Hey, if you haven't had your fair fix of the true capitalist radio broadcast, well then go to the archive, asshole. Alright? Blogtalkradio.com slash ghost. Alright? Because I don't know when the hell I'm going to come back and do another broadcast after you idiots made a fool of not just me, but Karaskin on a Taco Tuesday. Sorry, sacks of crap. Blogtalkradio.com slash ghost politics, Milky Liquors. Bookmark it, add it to your favorites, and don't forget it. And uh, follow me on Twitter. It's the best time and the best opportunity to find out when I'm going to conduct another broadcast because by God, I don't know if I'm going to conduct another broadcast after this God damn it, You son of a bitch. Alright, and, and you know, get this freaking mic out of my face. Get out of my face. That's it. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. Get me out of here, engineer, for Christ's sake. Get out of here. I don't care! Get me out of here, for Christ's sake! You've been listening to True Capitalist Radio. The thoughts, views, ideas, comments, and opinions of the host of this show are absolutely hilarious. Catch more live episodes. Oh, my God. Hey, Engineer, are you, you happy? Are you, you a little giddy about a Taco Tuesday? Well, he's a little hype about the Taco Tuesday. It's good to see you in better spirits today, Engineer. Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, before we get into anything else, I hate to even ask and look at the Engineer. Uh, engineer, do we have any Twitter shout-outs to be had out here? Well, according to the engineer, we do have some Twitter shout-outs to be had. And, of course, if you want a Twitter shout-out right here, right now, live on the True Capitalist Radio broadcast, all you've got to do is tweet at me right now, Ghost Politics, 
all one word, no underscores, ghost politics, and tweet at me with the hashtag capitalist army, baby, all right? With the hashtag capitalist army. All right, and, and, and if you do that, I will give you a Twitter shout out right here, right now, baby. Anyway, who else do we got? Who do we got going? As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and take a chug of this beer before we go. Ah, good stuff. All right, what's going on to G Man Capitalist in the house? Cody in the hat in the place. What's going on? Uh, we got colon hot dogs. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Come on. We've got uh, lock up liberals. You know, I guess, uh, I'm not. You're not getting any complaints here. Uh, somebody named Brutal Thundercunt. That's rich. Uh, we know one actual. We We've got ass biscuit. Yeah, that's fresh. Yeah, that's great. Uh, chew chew me poo poo. Uh, are you kidding me? Oh my god. What's going on to uh, Veta Forum Wars and everybody that's in the Capitalist Army chat room right now? Much props, baby, to the Capitalist Army. Uh, who else do we got here? Uh, we've got I Heart Euro Trash. Yeah, I bet you do, you fruit bowl bastard. Uh, we've got Juan GTA 11 uh, Who else we got? We got Colin Burgers. Jesus Christ, man. We got Capitalist Shark in the place. Uh, who else do we got going on? Venoforum Wars. Uh, we've got Flutter Shank in the house. Uh, we got Javier Mexico 123 in the place. Mega Mare in the house. Uh, who else do we got going on over here? I mean, Jesus Christ. Once again, if you want a Twitter shout out, tweet at me right now. Ghost Politics, all one word, no underscores. And tweet with the hashtag. Capitalist army, baby, all right? Uh, we got capitalism. We got somebody named My Little Ghosty, for Christ's sake. Uh, somebody named Fart Freddish Frank. Say that 12 times. Uh, who else do we got going on? Hey, not too many people that want Twitter shout-outs. Well, good. Well, good. I'm glad. You know what I mean? We could probably end this. Yeah, there's Edna Vale, for Christ. That's great. Uh, we can end this now. How about that? No more Twitter shout-outs. We can end this now. Hey, hey, much props to Karaskin, baby. What's going on to Karaskin in the house? And much props to the capitalist army, B-Town, Dutch capitalist, Aussie capitalist. You know what I'm saying? Balls in the house. Uh, what's going on to, uh, you know, Smojin, uh, you know, I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, I can go on and on, baby. Much props. Goof bumps in the house. What's going on? The old Jub Jub Joe. You know what I'm saying? What's going on to the tri Trixie? French doors. French doors. What's going on to John the Sponge, Inadequate Capitalist, Regular Capital? What's going on, man? Capitalist Army in full effect, baby, on this Taco, Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Woo! Oh, my God. Anyway, that's enough. I don't want to talk. You see, here's Colin Tenderizer, the Whore Master. Uh, I don't, I, you know, we don't want to. The, the, the flaming nipple chops. There's one. There's a name from the past, huh? Old flaming nipple chops. Anyway, we've got. Uh, I, mean, I hate to even ask the engineer here. Uh, engineer, do we have any Twitter shoutouts to be had out here? <laughs> Well, according to the engineer, we do have some Twitter shout-outs to be had, folks. And, of course, if you want a Twitter shout-out right here, right now, live on the True Capitalist Radio broadcast, all you've got to do is tweet at me right now, Ghost Politics, all one word, no underscores, Ghost Politics, and all you have to do is tweet at me with the hashtag, Capitalist Army. The tweet must have the hashtag, Capitalist Army, if you want a Twitter shout-out right here, right now. Anyway, who else do we got going on over here? Uh, we've got uh, Friend of Ghost in the house. What's going on? we got Thinks Amoral. The Gimps are back in the house. Sneaker Nets. 
Uh, who else? We got Jackie Droog in the place. Uh, there's Kadu. Yeah, hey, yeah, Kadu. Yeah, real funny. Uh, we got Cosmo CB. We got Ghost sold out. Go, what, what? What are you talking about? I sold out for Christ's sake, man. What are you talking about? I'm underground for Christ's sake. I'm internet underground, baby. The internet underground is the circuit I live in, boy. And don't you ever forget it. Anyway, we got DJ Mob in the place. Uh, we got uh, D, oh, D McGee 627. We've got Lawler Guy in the house. Uh, we've got New Gristle 87. Uh, we've got uh, The Gay Bagel. Oh, Jesus Christ, with these freaking names, for Christ's sake. Is that with cream cheese? We got Grenade Plasma in the house. Uh, who else do we got going on here? Uh, we've got one uh, GTA in the house again. Jesus Christ, who else we got? Uh, we've got uh, Pudding Head Pony. What's going on? We got uh, Hannibal Shrimpler. Uh, you son of a bitch. Enough of that crap, all right? I've seen all the YouTube videos about you idiots trolling me about the shrimp bit. Assholes, I'm really serious about that, for Christ's sake, man. We've got tiger, ancient, cannibal shrimp eating our shrimp in the Gulf, for Christ's sake, and you idiots think it's a big joke. I mean, don't you understand? I, I like my Gulf shrimp, all right? I like my Key West pink shrimp, all right? I want my shrimp back! And you idiots think it's a big joke! I mean, good God! Son of a bitches. I've seen all those YouTube videos about this little shrimp bit. Enough! Enough of the shrimp bit. Enough, all right? Give me the freaking mic. <laughs> I'm telling you assholes, I want my shrimp back. It's not a joke. There's no there's nothing funny about that for Christ's sake. We got Asian tiger shrimp that are in the Gulf. Where they came from, I have no freaking idea. But I want my shrimp back. And let me tell you something right now, if there's any scientist or if there's anybody that knows how to kill these tiger shrimp, these Asian tiger shrimp, we need your help, all right? We need your help, all right? We need you to kill these Asian tiger shrimp in the Gulf. Freaking assholes. Anyway, let me move on, for Christ's sake. Enough of the shrimp bit, all right? Anyway, who else do we got going on over here? Uh, we've got Diarrhea Blue Label. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, we've got Stalin Farn Crombie. Uh, okay. Uh, who else we got going on over here? We got uh, Sir Cuddlebutt. Oh, my God. Coat Hanger Fetus. I mean, come on with these sick names, man. We got somebody named Marauder. What's going on to Marauder? Nevada is a lie? Oh, great. Now, yeah, here we go with this bit. Here we got Dusky, Texas. Yeah, real funny, jerk. All right. We got Yotho, Yoko Lithr Littner TCA. What the hell is that supposed to mean? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Anyway, we got Mark Burke, 2012. Koopa, 1997. Perv, the nerve in the house. Uh, we got, I'm not saying that sick-ass name, you sick, twisted freaks. Uh, we got the seat sniffer. The seat sniffer, really? Uh, we got no shrimp for Texas. Oh, she's crack. <laughs> That's it, I'm not, I just, screw this. You idiots are going to keep up this shrimp bit. Forget about it, all right? Forget about it. You're going to keep up this shrimp crap. Forget about it. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. You're going to keep up this shrimp bit. Forget about it. Screw all you people. And, hey, 
all you people that are making Karras burgers and Karras cunt and all this crap, you leave Karraskin alone. You all leave Karraskin alone, goddammit. Son of a bitch.